good old bro splits. Often they get a bad rap in the gym, a bro split. A lot of people will tell you that, yeah, potentially a push-pull leg program or an upper lower body program or, yeah, different types of programming in some way is so much better than a bro split. In my experience, the best programs are the ones that are suited for the individual, but also cycling through a number of different programs over a period of time so that you get to enjoy all of the benefits of that program. But this video is specifically about a bro split program. Now, I'm not saying a bro split is better than any other way to train. This video is just about highlighting some of the potential positives and maybe some of the drawbacks when it comes to a bro split training program. What is a bro split training program? So we think about it, uh, a chest Monday, you know, uh, back Tuesday, arms Wednesday, maybe uh, legs Thursday, and then Friday shoulders. So we're training one, maybe two muscle groups for the day, but then we don't repeat training those muscle groups for the rest of the week. So if we take chest, for example, chest Monday, we're focused just on the chest muscle group and we don't train chest again for another full week. So what are some of the hallmarks of a bro split training program? Well, that's that's one of them, that if we're only training a limited number of muscle groups, maybe even one for that particular day. The next hallmark of a bro split is that we're doing a lot of volume for that muscle group in that day. So if we're doing chest Monday, maybe we've got an incline press, maybe we've got a flat press, maybe we're doing a dumbbell fly, maybe we're doing some push-ups. So there's four exercises for chest back to back. Now, what happens when we do a lot of volume for the one muscle group in the one day? Well, first thing is we get a big pump in the gym. So we get all that increased blood flow into the target muscle group. So we're training chest and all of a sudden the chest starts to swell. We're doing work. There's increased blood flow into the chest muscle group. And as the chest swells, what happens? It constricts the blood flow that comes into the chest as well as the blood flow that leaves the chest. So we get this big painful pump in the gym. And because of this constriction in blood flow, because we can't get as much oxygenated blood as what we need into the muscle group, we start to get that painful pump in the gym and we start to build up a lot of metabolic waste in the muscle group, in the target muscle group. Now, when we build up a lot of metabolic waste, which is basically the byproducts of all of the work that we're doing for that muscle group in that session, when we build up a lot of metabolic waste, we start to see our performance starts to go downhill quite quickly. And what I mean by that is your first exercise, maybe you're strong for all of the sets you're doing. You do your second exercise and you're still, you know, you're pretty strong, but you're starting to notice that your performance is dropping by a small margin. And then by the third, fourth, maybe even fifth exercise for that muscle group in that day, you know, you can't lift anywhere near as much as what you could if you had spaced all of those exercises out across, say, the week. And so you were training the exercises where, um, you're a bit more fresh when doing them back to back. So maybe in like a, a push-pull program, for example, you might do a push day at the start of the week and a push day at the end of the week. And you do some chest in the start of the week and some chest at the end of the week. And so over the whole week, you can lift a slightly greater working volume for chest. For a bro split, you don't really have that option because you're doing so much work back to back. And so you start to see your performance go downhill a bit as all the exercises go on. Not necessarily a bad thing because one of the mechanisms of uh, muscle growth is metabolic stress. So that um, building up all of that metabolic waste in the target muscle group and the, the cellular swelling that occurs because of the, all that increased blood flow, that is an important mechanism of muscle growth. And so doing a lot of volume in the one muscle group in the one day, it certainly can be a good way to uh, increase strength and increase lean muscle mass. One of the things that I like about a bro split is it's a high reward program. So you're going to the, the gym again, you're doing Monday, chest Monday, you know you're training that target muscle group. I can feel it, it's pumped up, it, you know, it's, it's swelled up, um, I, I, can, I can feel it's a bit sore, and I also notice that my performance is going downhill and I have very good control of my chest because I'm doing so many exercises in the one day for the one muscle group. So I like that aspect of a bro split. You know you know you're going in, you're training one, maybe two muscle groups, you get that instant reward, that instant pump in the gym. I know I'm training the muscle group, I can feel it. Visually, I can see that it's pumping up in the gym, it feels good. And so I've always related a bro split to being one of those high reward programs. Now, like I said, I'm not saying a bro split's better than other types of uh, training methods, 
I'm just making a case for the fact that a bro split does have a place in your training program across the year. And you shouldn't discount a bro split. I know it's got a lot of negative raps over the years as uh, a bit of a meathead workout. I can tell you it's a fantastic way to train and you should certainly consider it as part of your overall strategy when it comes to your training for the year. Good old fashioned bro splits. I love them. Nothing wrong with them at all. I've done them for many years. And uh, who doesn't love good old chest Monday? All right, if you are enjoying this content, please like and subscribe. It will help this channel to get more reach. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you all soon.